I want to share with you some things that are taking place at Salem as we move into the fall and as the renovation project uh, comes uh, to a conclusion and the building is cleaned one last time and we start to set up things in anticipation for our regathering. There is a task force in place that I've identified their task as back to the building. So we do look forward to being back together again uh, as uh, we have protocols in place and guidelines that will help us uh, establish good health practices for our use in the building. The first task is to consider what worship might look like. So the task force will be um, making recommendations to the October 6th council meeting. The council will then review those uh, suggestions and protocols and guidelines and make a recommendation regarding when that might happen, that we could start gathering for worship indoor, as well as Bible studies and circle meetings and, and things like that as we move slowly uh, toward regathering again. As you know, there were plans in place for a summer worship service at the last Sunday of July but those plans were canceled due to an increase of risk in the Peoria area as recommended by the Peoria Health Department. So we do have plans, and so it's just a matter of implementing them and, and doing those. So the council suggested that maybe rather than having back into the building be our first gathering, that we do an outdoor event or two. So we are planning worship services for outside in the parking lot, in the west parking lot, out near where the bus is parked, for Sunday mornings, September 27th, beginning at 9 a.m., and then again on October 4th and 11th at 9 a.m. These services will um, practice social distancing, so we'll ask you to bring your own lawn chairs, we'll ask you to, to bring your, your face coverings, so we can practice uh, what it's like to, um, to be inside the building as well as outside the building and the, the, our gathering together again. We've been apart for now over six months and we certainly don't want to uh, negate the, all the good work and the good efforts with uh, one or two events uh, and, and, and we want to be as cautious as we can. So please watch the bugle blast for an option to register for those outdoor worship services. There still will be online worship recorded, so those will take place as they have been the past six months. They'll still uh, air live at five o'clock on Saturday evening and be available for people on the, on the weekends. But there will be a secondary worship service that will be in person. There will be Holy Communion provided, and for those who would rather not participate in the outdoor worship service but still would like to come for Holy Communion, they, uh, I will meet people underneath the canopy at 10 o'clock for uh, distribution of Holy Communion. We'll offer uh, words of institution and as part of the uh, online worship services for the weekends of those uh, 27th and October's 4th and 11th and you can worship in your home and then uh, whenever that time works for you and then come to the church and I'll be here from 10 to 11 on uh, those mornings to share Christ's presence uh, in, in Holy Communion. We will be communing in one element, so just the bread will be, uh, will be shared. We trust and believe that Christ is present in, in his uh, wholeness in, in one element, so uh, a prepackaged uh, host will be provided for you if you, uh, if you come and, and, and drive through and, and, and request that. So we thank you for uh, your patience and your prayers as we continue to do that. If you, anytime you are at the church, uh, we do ask you to please wear your face coverings to keep one another safe and uh, we'll get through this. Uh, in, in time and we trust and believe that that God is faithful and uh, God is with us and uh, God is going to plan uh, make a good plan forward for us